You all know how ugly we look in our passport or driver's license photos. They are not flattering at all. How can my passport photo ever look presentable? That's besides doing the standard slick bun. Okay, you'll need a bit of water from a spray bottle, a strong to medium hole gel, and a hair butter or leave-in conditioner. I'm going to do the viral hairstyle, passport hairstyle. So yeah, wet, wet, wet that hair. You know, in order to manipulate our hair, we've got to wet it. You don't want to be brushing your hair dry. Don't ever, ever do that. So it's basically a half up, half down with a path in the middle. It's pretty simple. It only takes a few minutes. You don't need day two, day three, day four, day five, whatever day hair you, you're on. You don't need to redo your hair. You don't need to start styling again. All you need is a bit of gel, some water, some clips. You're good to go. First tip is your hair needs to be out of your face, your eyes, your ears. You need to be able to see all those things, your eyebrows, etc. They need to see every bit of your face. So your hair needs to be slicked back. And that's what I'm attempting to do. I clipped it back. I'm using a normal detangler brush, but you can use any brush that you're used to. I had to keep wetting because my hair was not cooperating with just a brush. I added the hair butter to slick it back, soften it a bit, and then number two, you need a natural look. So they say no extreme hairstyles, something that is normal and that you have pretty much every day. I don't have this every day, but to get it out of my face, this is what I'm going to do. Follow your government guidelines. Obviously, everyone is different, but they're roughly similar. So look at the guidelines before you do it yourself. But for me, this is how I'm doing it. Another thing is your hair has to be away from your ears. Your ears must be visible. So tie the hair back, either a slick bun or what I'm doing, half up, up half down. Those ears need to be seen and the outline of your face, apparently. No nicely flicked edges. Don't do your edges. Side note, look at how red my scalp looks. <laughs> it just shows I don't do a slick back very often. Or I was just so rough with my, my brushing. I wanted it back, 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 but it was taking some time. As a general rule of thumb, you don't want any lovely looking clips or Alice bands or, you know, fancy accessories. You don't want them in your hair. And basically, simplicity is key. The other thing to point out is your background. Whatever the background is, you don't want to have a bad contrast with your hairstyle. So do whatever works for you. I had a white background. Um, usually... The background's white or cream or something that really shows up good angles or not so good angles. I tied it in a little bun at the back. You can leave it loose and yeah, just wet and stretched out the hair a bit. Oh, curls love to shrink up, so I tried to make it slightly longer. Not much to the fluffing, but there you go. I've done the hairstyle. Tell me, how did I do? I did change my top. So I had a bit of a collar. They do need to see your neck. So your whole um, head and neck need to be visible. So about there. You don't need your arms and all that. But your top shoulders definitely need to be there. So it can't just be a headshot. Please read the guidelines. They'll tell you exactly what you need to do. I'm just showing you the best hairstyle that suits us. Or suits me for a curly girl. Thanks for watching Curls by Charlene. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hmm, hmm. Hit that subscribe button, press the like button, and leave a comment. Why not ring the bell so you're notified every time I post a new video? Thanks for watching Curls by Charlene, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!